on to the last committee on the list, which is uh, on IP strategy. We have Ms. Dominic Fist. So thank you everyone and hello from the IP strategy committee for logistical reasons we have put this towards uh, the end but effectively the topic of course if we look at the IP lifecycle rather comes towards uh, the beginning and is very all encompassing as you all know strategy is a very broad word I have spent most of my professional life in IP strategy or not in IP but in strategy consulting <laughs> generally and so I know it can be a lot of things and there's a lot of good and meaningful overlaps that uh, I think we identified or will identify going forward between the committees, which gives a lot of room of potential also for good collaboration. Um, the committee is already full by the chairs, as you see. Uh, so we have wonderful members. Um, besides me, you have Benjamin in the room. Yeah? Uh, great, great that uh, this committee is very strong presented. I saw uh, David also online. Uh, we have Prigia, so we are super happy to have a strong team, and we are also in contact with further potential members and interests in the in the committee. Can I move this on here? Or is oh, this... No, okay, you do. This. Okay. Um, so, what is what is a bit the topic? How we think about this? And, and I said it. I, I think, of course, there's a lot of things that where we have overlaps or touching points between uh, the different committees and between strategy and how everything else uh, plays into this. But Specifically, when we talk about strategy, we're also always thinking a bit about, you know, what does it mean really for the business side of things, okay? Um, I'm always astounded um, about how many companies are still seeing uh, IP as, yeah, worst thing, they're not seeing it at all, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I would say the, the, the broad bulk of it sees it more as an administrative function or a function that is actually following uh, the R&D process and that is somewhere there put to, to protect, yeah, and seeing sometimes the legal side of it, seeing sometimes the, okay, the portfolio management side of it, which is all super valid and we're all super good practitioners in this. But uh, at the same time, the strategic aspect uh, for us and the business aspect is really, what does it actually grant you in terms of business value, okay? So how can I actually increase my value to the customer? How can I increase my uh, sales revenues? How can I become a better company, so to say, or a better economy as a whole? By leveraging all uh, of that, what is what is what is in the in the world of IP, right? Um, and, and so, effectively, I think the way we must uh, promote this topic, right, is is, is to educate again companies, uh, educate uh, government and, and 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 politicians around how you can use the data that sits in there, right, um, to come up with much better products with much better fitting information for your whole R and D process, because that's what a lot of companies are more aware of yeah, than, than the uh, top IP topic itself, um, how it can therefore create better inventions huh, that bring us forward as an economy and as a humankind, so to say, yeah? uh, better products on the op operational level, uh, and therefore, again, create much more, create much more business value. Uh, I, I think that's, that's for me the essence, and that's what also gets other people and other stakeholders excited. Um, and, th and that's how we need to tackle it. So the whole topic, uh, ag again, is broad. Um, it also has a lot to do with uh, bringing different stakeholders together and get raising that awareness. No? Uh, there's a, usually a small group uh, of, of practitioners like us, but also in companies and, and, and where not, no? that know very well the topic. But uh, to, to, to make sure that everybody in, in an organization understands, you know, the value and what it is about and how they interact, the role that they play, because there's such an inter... Uh, intercollaborative role that is that is of the essence okay and so basically um that's that's what it's all about so for, for us i mean we're, we're seeing this topic very broad and and, and what we're wanting to do no? but if, uh, uh, like like a lot of these committees here are doing no? but i think it's a lot about raising awareness it's a lot about showing showcasing uh, uh the the value of it showcasing some examples yeah? bringing the topic forward uh not shying away to uh, again speak to uh, leverage us big, ne? speak to uh, governments, for example, ne? see how we can also uh, get rid of the inequalities in terms of IP know-how between the different countries in the world, right, for historical reasons, for business reasons, ne? but nevertheless, I mean, if you look at the uh, inequal distribution of, of IPRs across the across the world, it's astounding, right, uh, so there's a lot of potential to, to still leverage, so it's all about how do we leverage us uh, uh, as this group, as, as I3PM as well, how to get outreach to governments, to multiplicators, no? 
in the business world, uh, we are talking about, for example, uh, uh, VCs, per, uh, for, for example, no? just because they have so much leverage into other companies where they're investing uh, and they have the, the, the value mindset on all of these things. Okay. Um, so probably a, a bit over time already. Again, uh, last push or last uh, yeah, that last uh, sentence here. Again, I think there's a lot we can do jointly. I think we need to leverage all of our contacts that we have yeah, to get this outreach. And I also think, you know, based on these discussions that we had today, to to identify some joint projects between committees, yeah, where we see good overlaps, uh, to take to take things forward, and then we can reach great things. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dominic. Great presentation. And uh, yeah, this also closes the circle, so to say, and rounds up the presentation of or the introduction of the 15 committees. Thanks to all the presenters. Um, I think that's great to see the, the, the vast amount of uh, topics we can cover with L3PM and the ambitious people working on the committees. If not, the next committee on the list is the Committee on IP Portfolio Management.